Hello and welcome to Ape Exotics. In today's video, I am going to share with you some interesting information about the common chakwalla, also known as Sauvamalus ate. Sauvamalus ater is a lizard species coming from the family of Iguanidae. The species inhabits the hot Sonoran and Mayav deserts of the southwestern United States and northwestern Mexico. Its range extends from eastern California, Utah and Nevada South to Baja California and Sonora. Common chakwalas can be found between sea level and 1,400 meters elevation. What are their characteristics? The common chakwalla is a large flat-bodied lizard with rounded belly and a wide-based blunt-tipped tail. It reaches a length of 20 inches and a weight of 0.9 kilograms. Small scales cover its body with larger scales protecting the ear openings. The coloration of these lizards varies by location and between juveniles and adults, as well as between males and females. In adult males, the head, shoulder and pelvic regions are black, while the mid-body is light then speckled with brown. Adult females are brownish in color with a scattering of dark red spots. Young chakwallas have four or five broad bands across their bodies and three or four on the tail which are lost in adulthood by males but retained by females. What is their typical behavior? Well, luckily they are harmless to humans as they run from potential threats. When disturbed, they enter into crevices between rocks and inflate their lungs. The lung inflation distends its body and wedges and the lizard is tightly in place. Males are territorial, an abundance of resources tends to create a hierarchy based on size with one large male dominating the smaller males in the area. Chakwallas are more active during the day than the night and they are ecothermic. Now, what do I mean by that? It means that they regulate their body temperature according to the temperature of the surrounding. These lizards are well adapted to desert conditions and they are active at temperatures up to 102 degrees Fahrenheit. In the cold months, chakwallas bromate, which means they slow down, they are sluggish and inactive, then they emerge in February. What is their diet? They are primarily herbivores. The chakwallas eat bush flowers, leaves, fruits and occasionally insects. How do they breed? Males are sexually mature when they reach about 13 cm from snout to vent length, or about 2 years old. Females reach sexual maturity at the same length, but they may take longer to reach that length. Mating occurs from April to July. After a gestation period of one month, female lays eggs in an underground nest. The female protects their eggs from predators and other threats while they incubate. However, after they hatch, females no longer care after their young. Each clutch consists of 5 to 16 eggs being laid between June and August. The eggs hatch in late September. Common chakwala generally live 10 years or more, given suitable conditions, limit predations, and adequate food availability. Fortunately, the IUCN categorized common chakwalla as least concern due to the large population distribution and no immediate threats. Although total population size is not known, the estimate total adult population size could be around 100,000 or greater. However, when you see a chakwalla in the wild, always be very careful when you try to handle it. 
because when it feels threatened it will lose its tail which unfortunately it will take a long time to grow back so thanks for watching cape exotics hope you liked today's video please don't forget to subscribe and see you next time